What Culture Football fans, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture Football, joined by Liverpool fan Ewan Patterson hey, how's it going? from What Culture Football to discuss the news that came out late yesterday that Loris Karius sustained a concussion during the Champions League final, which the Reds obviously lost 3 1 to Real Madrid. He was at fault for the first and the third goals that Real scored, but this kind of cast doubt on the whole game, really. Um, I'll read what has been said. Boston Hospital Tests said the impact was likely to have been felt immediately and would affect performance, and Dr. Ross Zavonti said Carius had visual spatial dysfunction, a process which hampers a person's ability to process visual information about where objects are in space. Um, you and your your thoughts on this, both as a football fan and as a, and as yeah, a Liverpool fan. Like I kind of want to get this up the air because I'm I'm totally over. I don't want to come across as the guy who's like still pining after the result. There was a mirror headline yesterday where it was like Liverpool fans demand rematch of Champions <laughs> League final. It's like no one has said that, and, and to be honest, I'm completely over it. I had a great time when I was at Battle of Liverpool. I had a great time with everyone there. Um, I'm not fussed about it. We're building for the summer. Everything's going to improve. But one thing I do want to. I kind of ask is is why the game wasn't stopped when Karius went down. He does go over to the referee and he does complain and then play just resumes. It's weird yeah. in, in modern football as well when, when they're so concerned about head injuries and stuff. You know, when, when players go up for headers and go down, it's like we, we stop play regardless of whether it's either attacking or defending or whatever. And it, his attention has even been brought to this by Karius. He said, look, my, I've suffered an injury. Yeah. He's not necessarily arguing for a for a booking or anything because I, I, I mean... Say what you want about it. Does he does he go for carries? Does he get pushed into carries yeah. by Van Dyke? He still leans with his elbow. That's yeah. the thing. Like people talk quite about the Van Dyke thing. But, but yeah. it, the fact that yeah, the fact that there was no stoppage in play whilst you can get properly assessed and stuff, it was kind of surreal. And yeah, that's I suppose the, the, the almost one of the biggest points of contention away from from yes. Ramos. And there was there was two minutes afterwards the first mistake mm. was made as well. So there is there, there is a potential causal a scientific causal link now between that and potentially the first mistake. So. But I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm still really upset about the whole thing, but I, I think we just need to dust ourselves off and move on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really frustrating. Like, like you say, it's more about the way that they ran the game, exactly. the officials. Because if you'd have brought a goal, uh, you know, brought, taken him off, you'd have brought on Mignolet, so he'd have definitely conceded both those goals. Um, varying opinions on this as well. Some people see, I mean, I saw um, Chris Sutton, or heard Chris Sutton on Five Live, saying this is him, it, this shouldn't have come out, this is him making an excuse. I don't think this is necessarily Carrius's fault that this has come out. He was like, asked to go there. He's again. on holiday yeah, in America. He was, asked, he was asked to go there by um, Liverpool, Liverpool's medical staff, so that's... Good job, good job, Chris. And it's so, not making yeah. an excuse really, as it much as it much is sort of just like he held his hands. He was like, "I'm yeah. really sorry." He did this whole obviously Instagram, Twitter post, apologised to all the Liverpool fans. There was obviously a bit of backlash immediately after the final, but I think the opinion of his maybe shifted regardless of this. Yeah, like I think the, the consensus around the club at the moment is that whereas before we were looking to kind of get a keeper that would compete with Carriers, we're probably going to look out for an out and out replacement at this point. But, but obviously, this this whole thing does potentially change that. I mean, Carriers is was fantastic towards the end of the season. He was showing flashes of himself when he was at Mainz. And yeah, I, I, I don't know what this will potentially bold, bode for anything else because he's not necessarily an assured presence um, between the sticks, but yeah. Reading the Twitter comments after, the, after mm -hmm. this is, is very interesting because like you say, immediately after the final, in the week after the final, I mean, I did a video saying five goalkeepers to replace Carriers, of course, mm -hmm. uh, which looks a little bit silly now. But you read the Twitter comments now yes. and there's some, there's, it's, it's, Varying opinions. Some people are saying, right, well, we've got to give him a chance now. This is the justification for what happened. Obviously, he's got it. He wants to make amends. We should give him that chance. We're that sort of football club. Yes. But what do you think? You've been linked to the likes of Oblak, Allison, Buffon. Would you like to see someone like that brought in? Or do you want to see Karis maybe given a chance next season? Well, this is the thing. Like Before before the whole Champions League final, I would have said no. Because I think Karis had a tremendous half season when he replaced Lauren Mignolet as the number one of the team. I think that was kind of illustrated by the fact that his performances were very assured. He made some absolutely stellar saves in the Merseyside derby, and then against Newcastle as well, and then in, all the way through to the uh, Champions League final. So he is played just as an integral part of that Liverpool side that got us to the final um, as, as anyone else in that squad. 
But at the same time, you do have to look at some of these names, like Oblak and Allison. Objectively, they, they, they are better keepers. Allison is keeping Edison out of the Brazil team. Oblak is stunning. Maybe potentially Atletico work benefit him slightly because they have a renowned defense. Um, but, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's very difficult for me to discuss this at the moment because I mean, this, this, this seems more, the, the story at hand is more of a story about the failure, failure of duty of care um, because a player has been concussed on a football pitch and he hasn't been given the appropriate treatment. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I would like to see a new out-and-out -out keeper come in, if I'm being personal, that maybe that's a little bit ruthless. But at the same time, if that weren't to happen and Karras was given another shot, I wouldn't feel upset by that because I think he's more than earned the opportunity. Now, talking about punishment very quickly, you mentioned there about wanting to see something done about that, a duty of care, like you say. Um, hopefully, maybe this will encourage a slight tweak in the rules because I think there's no fan in football that would mind if couple of minutes is taking longer treating some anyone for a head yes. injury. Um, there has been over half a million signatures online uh, for a petition to see Ramos uh, sort of punished after the fact for taking out Salah. Thoughts? Um, I think that's that's slightly different. I know there are a lot of Egyptian fans who are very upset at the fact that that potentially ended his World Cup as mm -hmm. well. And I think they are, pro they are very much right to be angry. I think if you look at, obviously you can people say, oh, Ramos is a winner, that is the way he plays. But at the same time, he has gone in to hurt that player there. I don't think that's um, refutable. Um, I don't think any retrospective action should necessarily be carried out because I think this is just the way Real Madrid would play. And it's something we all have to deal with. And let's face it, anyone um, who knows football would appreciate a player like Ramos in their side, should there be an opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over the final now. I just want to get ready for next season. We've got new arrivals coming in. I'm very, very optimistic about that, and I couldn't care less about what happened the week. No, Still, though, I want to know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, do you think there should be some punishment? Do you think there should be some change in the rules? Uh, and do you think, most importantly of all, that Carrie should now be given a chance next season at Liverpool, or they should bring in a brand new goalkeeper? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My thanks to you and Pat. And let's just look forward to the World Cup, yeah. eh? Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. We're gonna win it. England will win it, mate. I don't I don't like England. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. I've been Adam from What Culture Football, and I'll see you soon. Come on, Egypt! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wasn't that great, guys? I don't know. It's your decision. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it down here. Check out more of our content over here or check out some of our other channels over here. Oh, you better click it. Click it before I do. No, seriously, you should click it then.